All right, everyone, before we start the day in the life of an online PA student, you know I gotta give a shout out to Urbane Scrubs. First of all, look how just how cute they are. Cute design, nice pockets, super stretchy. I honestly don't know what more you can want from Scrubs. The pants have a nice thick waistband and a little drawstring to make them tighter so they can actually stay up on you while you're running around to the hospital, nursing home, wherever you are. They also have nice pockets up here and then pockets on the side. And again, super stretchy. And to sum it all up, they have that cute design on the bottom of the pants as well. If you're not sold already, you can check out more pictures of me in them on my Instagram at whitecoatchasing. And there's a link in my bio for you to purchase these scrubs yourself. But all right, I know you're here for the vlog, so let's get to it. everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So obviously this isn't the normal intro in terms of me sitting there like actually done up. This is me waking up. It is 7.33 right now on August 25th so it's Tuesday of my second week of PA school. So this week is mostly studying. Nothing really interesting. We're not going on to campus so I thought I would do a day in the life of an online PA student. So I'm basically going to show you from what I do from when I wake up to when I go to bed. Like I said, it's 7.33, so I just woke up about 20 minutes ago, and I'm going to watch one of the lectures that I missed from yesterday, and then hopefully um, the two from today to get those done. And then after that, I'm actually going through each of these lectures, and I'm kind of handwriting notes before I usually do Quizlets or other types of like flashcards or writing on my whiteboard, but for some reason this one I feel like would do best if I use my good notes and create like little study guides. Spoiler alert from future me, that was a bad idea. Do not do that next time. At least for me, I kind of need to get a better grasp on the material before I make a written study guide. So I kind of wasted a lot of time on making the study guide without actually retaining anything. So the last two days before my test, I think I was in like sheer panic. So I think I'm going to stick to Quizlets and the things that I mentioned that helped me before because those just work for me and that's just how I study best. But that's okay. The Aubrey in this video did not know that. So we're just going to proceed. But from now on, just know handwritten notes may not be done because that was rough. But alright, I'm gonna go watch my lectures and then afterwards probably get some breakfast and then just see where the day takes us. Yes, I sometimes do study from my bed. It's mostly when I watch lectures and then I usually um, go downstairs on my couch for the actual like, studying part. But the lectures I am perfectly fine doing on my bed, so I'm just gonna roll with it until it doesn't work anymore. I always put my lecture on this side and then do the notes and annotate on this side and to get my notes over here I just share them open in good notes and then you import as a new document and then they pop up right there and then I just go back and and open the lecture and it'll take a minute to load but the lecture loads right here want to annotate, I basically just listen to the lecture and then add anything that she says that may be helpful or may explain it. I also highlight things that she kind of talks about a little bit more than others or things that I probably should know. And then I also do some of the drawings that she does as well. I need my own hand notes for this section and this is what it looks like so far. I've only done one of the lectures but I'm going to go back and do the other four from yesterday and then get started on the other lectures tomorrow. Here is a little time lapse of how I made this. All right, well, I just got done with two of my lectures and I'm just kind of getting sick of it. So I decided to take a break, get ready for a bit and make the intro to my last week's vlog that I have to post today. So my like study break sometimes are doing YouTube things and Instagram things. I actually find it fun. So it is kind of a good stress relief, but sometimes it is annoying to have small things that I have to do, but it's okay. It's worth it. But all right, I'm going to go finish editing that video, post it, and then start watching the remainder of the four lectures that I have today. So I just took a little lunch break and then now I have a Zoom call for just like skills that you'll need as a PA student. It's kind of like a overarching just tips on how to be a PA student and be successful in school. 
and then after that I am going to finish the first lecture that I'm watching of today and then after that I have like two and a half more lectures to watch and then I am going to probably take a break my boyfriend's gonna come over we're gonna make dinner probably go for a little swim to get some exercise and then I'm gonna start making like a study guide of the lectures I've already watched I also am now posting my video from last week the weekly vlog and I'm just doing it on canva so I'm just making the um, thumbnail for that and then just editing my video all right so the first lecture is done um that was the online zoom one and it was like study tips and whatnot um so i don't know if i've said this before i think i have but my program is set up where we have like about one to two week modules and then we take our tests on friday so for the one week module like this week we'll have our tests on friday and then we won't have any new material until monday so we actually get a free weekend um and all the pa students i talk to like recommend actually taking your free weekend and not studying beforehand so that's one thing i love about my program but I'm going to finish watching the lecture. I'm going to show you a little snippet of what the lectures look like just so you can get an idea of what I'm watching and annotating. And after that, I'll probably take a minute just to clean up my room because it's getting a little untidy from just having to focus on school. Um, so I just want to make sure I clean my space. Clean space, clear mindset. That's what I'm trying to keep up this year. It's not going so well so far, so I'm going to give it an attempt. At the um, 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 two different pathways here, we're going to start with glycolysis first. Um, glycolysis, as we just mentioned, is going to happen within the cytoplasm, cytoplasm within the cell, and so we're going to uh, look at the overall reaction. We're not going to look at the outside the cell. So all of these will be released. Another way to think about exocytosis is all of the neurotransmitters that are made in the nerve cell will actually be released outside the cell so that they can act on them. I totally forgot that I have Zoom from 3 to 4, so... I'm almost done with that one lecture, but I'm going to take a 10 minute little short quick nap before I start my Zoom because I am very tired today for some reason. I'm currently on the Zoom call. Alright, groceries acquired boyfriend here being ridiculous <laughs> tonight we're having tacos turkey tacos <laughs> and then the DNA will become digested by enzymes that are called passages these passages as we previously talked about they have to and then we got a quick little night swim say hi <laughs> what's up <laughs> So I wanted to say I'm sorry that this week wasn't a whole weekly vlog. This week really did kick my ass. It was a subject I haven't done in a long time. And like I said, my study methods were just all messed up. So I just, I kind of screwed myself over and I thought that a full like weekly vlog would be too much, but I still wanted to make a video for you guys. Um, I'm going to do like a more in-depth like day in the life of an online PA student. Um, so I'm going to do like some weeks where it's, you know, if I have a more interesting work week, I'll do a weekly vlog. And then if I know I'm going to be really just studying and grinding and can't do a full vlog for you guys um i'm probably gonna do more of a day in the life so so far i know i've only been in school for two weeks but honestly all of my days are kind of different if it's earlier in the week i usually am not as stressed and i kind of have more relaxed schedule if it's wednesday or thursday and i'm really getting close to taking that test on friday that's when i get stressed out and i start studying a lot more and taking a lot less breaks so in the future, I'll try to do some of my more relaxed days so you can see what I do and try to, you know, maintain self-care. And then I'll do some on like Wednesdays and Thursdays to show you how I prepare and get ready for my exams. Again, I apologize for not having a full weekly vlog, but I hope you enjoyed this little snippet into my daily life of an online PA student. I will for sure have a full weekly vlog next week, so be sure to check that one out. Again, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.